If anything goes wrong, Emperor's Divide to boot them out. Just that combo right there is almost a team fight victory. So Faker taking cleanse this game as well to deal with the Cassiopeia. So we'll see that Faker switch over to cleanse instead of barrier. And of course, guys, potentially the last game of this semi-final before AHQ and EDG do battle. Can Fnatic take it to five? Can Fnatic Challenge SKT once more. We're loading Rain up. Over, though, if he doesn't return, oh, looks like the Yellow Star is in position actually. Well, let's see if he can connect with the Zenith Blade. That is the target. Yellow Star level three. He's going to start charging up. Stun gets spell shielded. Zenith Blade does not. Steal back, looking to get the damage down. He flashes in. Auto attack plus Yellow Star. First blood secured for the captain of Fnatic. Rainover doesn't have to return. Yellow Star is going to take the ganks into his own hands. <laughs> Again, finding a really good angle there. Coming in for the lane now. Here is Rain over. Marin's pushed up. He doesn't have vision. A bit dangerous. Uni's going to push him back. There is a flash available for Marin. Rain over's looking to get the knock up. He's going to tunnel forward. Flash reply. Flash in follow. Marin's going to go down. And Rain over 2 0. Oh. Keep in mind, it's what Fnatic need to do with this comp. Now, here comes a battle pig. Steelbacks in reply. Knock oh. back up into the air. Bengi, with the help of Wolf, gets one. Yellow Star's in trouble, but he should be able to get away. He's going to get close to that tower shortly. They have a cannon minion. See if they can make it work. Marin, he's just hit level six. Equalizer instantly comes down, but he's instantly knocked up and he's overheating. Yellow Star tanking up the turrets. Now it's Rainover. That's going to take a few shots. It's Rainover. That's going to go down. Marin in a 1v3. I think he's going to the kill. I think Yellow Star could have tanked one more tower shot. Yeah, I think they could. SKT also going. And Wolf is going to find Yellow Star hugging a tree line. He gets uh -oh. booted into the jungle of SKT, trying to find his way out. He's going to actually go back in. Zenith blades onto Alistair. He's maybe going to find the support, but it looks like Huni's about to come up. This could start a team fight. It's taken less to start fights for Fnatic. Yellow Star gets a stun to bang. Here comes for Vivin. Three members locked up together. Knock up from Rainover. Look for the petrifying gaze. Yellow Star still oh. alive. Faker stunned up, and he's forced to to slide in the back line. Wolf that goes down as Rainover that gets a kill. I think well, worked in their favor. Let's take a look at how this lane swap is working out. CS advantage to Febivin in the mid lane. Equalizer used by Marin. Yeah, just trying to push up right now, put as much pressure down as possible. Here's Rain over Marin. Gonna try and jet out of this one. Will be knocked up and hit with the smite. Well, it looks like he's potentially gonna go down. Can he hit it? Yes, he yes, he can! Great shot. He took aim. Deep breath in, held it. <laughs> Once upon a time, Febivin was referred to as the European sniper for his Zerath plays. Rainover wants to challenge the European mini sniper with his Prey Seeker plays. Can he get over the wall? <laughs> yes, he can, because he's flashed into a double knockup. Yellow Star and Rainover now battling Bengi and Wolf. The battle boar is down, and they turn to the battle pig. Now Alice is trying to get away. Wolf gets knocked up by Rainover. Two more kills. Rainover has done this on Rek'Sai before, and he's doing it again. And he has the Warrior enchantment as well, so the damage coming in is uh, something I think SK Telecom is not expecting right now. And well, you know what? Wow, he's all in. He's like, you know what? I've got all the gold. Time to carry. Rainover's going to add extra DPS. Bang, bang, bang. Steelback shoots you down. Revenge for the pentakill in a stylish culling kill. Rainover, can you find the knockup? No, because Wolf pulverizes. Helping out as far as the MR is concerned. And that keeps him alive. Yellow Star and Huni. That's a flash from Yellow Star, but Yellow Star misses the solar flare. Marin goes backwards and the well, tower gets the kill. What? So Fnatic. Ooh, rain over. Two and a half, four, four and a half thousand gold ahead. Oh man. Marin's gonna be able to teleport in three seconds. So is right Huni. Here. Huni has home guards. Well, let's see who's going to be more powerful. Rainover gets knocked away, but he's going to tunnel to use. He actually goes Oops. in as Marin Don't is teleporting in. A thousand HP on the dragon. We do see the Prey Seeker coming in. <laughs> Huni's looking to secure it. It gets picked up 
by an Alistair of all things. Wolf is low and Hooney does not have Onslaught of Shadows. Yellowstar connects with Bang. We do see the Equalizer coming down as Bengi is caught out. He goes down to steal back, but they trade his life for Febivin. Bang, looking for more. He's on the front line. Got his Zia soldiers conquering and shifting the sands all over the place. Fnatic, one for one, but they lost the dragon. That was dragon number two. Yellowstar looking for that I angle. Knock. Gonna find something he likes right there. Faker's still at full HP. I I really don't comes from. <laughs> so six thousand gold, seven kills, two towers, but zero dragons. Everyone has found Bengi two level advantage and oh. so much poison. He doesn't manage to get the stun. Follows for Twin Fang. Everyone finds a kill on Bengi but loses his flash to secure it. A minute and a half before Dragon can Fnatic get control of the area to arrest control That's huge, of the though. jungle. A blue steal away from Azir onto Cassiopeia. The dragon will melt if they do decide to pull the trigger. Well, I'm sure they will pull the trigger. Fnatic have been doing it all day. Here oh, comes Rain Bengi, over. Rain over. He's actually flashed forward, gets the knockout but to fake and the solar flare stuns him. Yellowstar does not connect with the Zenith blade though. Bang, a little bit in retreat as Bengi is now left alone. Four members of Fnatic make that five members of Fnatic. There, you caught me? All right, we're fighting then. It's the teleport as well. <laughs> I love that decision right there that we saw come in from Rain over. Really smart. Wolf is on a deadly odyssey through the jungle right now. He got cut he off got on the opposite side. Of the map. <laughs> oh, nice split pushing coming in. Only Marin up there. He has his equalizer back up if he wants to use it to clear the wave. Not going to make that call quite yet. Flashes out. Well, let's see what else Fnatic can get. We do see the Zenith Blade catching onto Wolf, and he's taken down. Unable to challenge for Dragon now. Yeah. Well, like tried to get, they tried to get a pick right there, and the, actually the team fighting and defense was really quite good, but. Uh, oh, gonna go Bang for is it. careful! That's a great equalizer from Morin, but I don't think it'll be enough. Wolf falls, he doesn't have unbreakable will. Feverman turns onto Morin, the poison goes out, that's two down. Faker drops immediately after, and Bang is being run down by Hooney. He decided to back away. Bingy forced to flash to stay alive. So they want to make use of that ability while they can. They may try and go back onto the Baron right now and force it with the home guard Hecarim coming here in. Here we go. Here comes Hooney. Fake is knocked up. Hourglass comes out. Yellowstar and Rainover are the only ones caught by the Glacial Prison. Faker in retreat. Hooney throws down the Onslaught of Shadows and the Equalizer will at least dissuade Fnatic's aggression. Hooney on the full back off and Fnatic are somewhat split. They are going to find Bang though as a multi-man knocker from Wolf will slow things down but ultimately not affect the outcome. Rainover sinks his fangs into Faker. And that is a... And we do see Hooney Takes a lot of damage from Faker. He doesn't commit with Faker not there. The starts behind Fnatic. Faker. They feel brave. And you see the stun onto Faker. Zenith Blade will be available. That's a very early hourglass. Solar Flare will stun Faker in place. An onslaught of shadows goes forward. We do see Yellowstar. Faker is still alive. Faker is still alive. And we do see Yellowstar going down. Could this be bad? Bengi survives to live again. The poison not going to tick away. And we do see the Bang actually. He is not invested in another pink ward. So, shall we get ourselves back on track here, gentlemen? All right. Rainover got caught. Knocked out of the tunnel. S stunned up with the minions. Bengi and Faker still running him down. He gets knocked back and taken down. Well, Red will position. it cost him anything more? Here comes Fnatic. Huni wants Bang, and he's almost going to solo him. Onslaught of Shadows is available. Culling has been channeled, and we do see Bang forced to flash away. Equalizer is good. Steal back on the retreat. Throws out the Light Slinger, and the auto attacks on Tamarin. Huni kicks him with the hoofs. He onslaughts in. He fears them backwards, and that's three kills for Fnatic. Faker is down, but he takes Steal back with him. Fnatic continue to chase. We do see Bang going out. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to Game 5. Fnatic take down SKT in the fourth battle to push us all the way to the MSI semifinals. And those advantages that Fnatic is getting out of the laning phase have really just propelled them to these victories. SK Telecom not skirmishing as well, and Fnatic just snowballing this game out. So, such good execution from Fnatic this time around. Drawing SKT out into the open, around the neutral objectives, and then crushing them. Crowd is on their feet.